Hello, this is Chidero, and I'd like to show you how I have loomed, created this dice bracelet. Um, it's very, very simple. I don't even know if I even came up with the bracelet design, or if it's just a combination of throughout time, um, just watching other loomers uh, tutorials. But I know I have bought these charms a good while ago and was looking for a way to incorporate them into the bracelet. So let's get started. You will need six dice. Um, I did purchase these at uh, Hobby Lobby. You can also look at Michael's, AC Moore, um, but they're just regular dice beads. And on the corners, there's two holes. There's one on this corner, and you turn it to the opposite end, and there's the other hole right there. So that's how we are going to thread them. The colors that I chose for the bracelet are just the colors that match the uh, beads. So the loom configuration is going to be the square, and I apologize if I'm whispering, but it's very, very late at night and I have a family that's sleeping. So let's make this into a square configuration or straight pin where they are going straight across. And so I'm going to go ahead and do the bracelet exactly how I had done it, um, this original one. So we're going to use clear bands are going to be our threading bands. We're going to use white bands and we're going to use red bands and black bands as our border. So let's go ahead and thread up our beads. So I'm just taking some regular, um, let me get a better one here, just some uh, threading wire, which is just um, bracelet thread. Uh, bracelet wire, anything you can find, or a piece of floss, anything will, will work as long as it can get through these little holes. So let's grab a clear band and stick it down in between into the V. And we'll take one of our dice, find our hole on the edge. Hmm. These are secret holes on this one because they're, there it is. It's colored black like the dice, or it's just too late for me. <laughs> okay, so I stuck it in out the other side. Very big hole as far as um, it's way better to thread these easier than some beads. So let's grab our next one. That down in there. Find our threading hole. Make sure you got both of your pieces of thread through. That's two. Wow. Sometimes they are a little bit challenging to find. There, we got that one. And my threading wire is ready to retire. So they are easy to thread, but my wire has been used several times. So that's where you'll, you're seeing the difficulty. sure both of them are in there. Out the other side and see like this one's a good example. Sometimes the um, these are probably machine made obviously and so the holes may not even be open on one end. I know I had to open one. Um, so 
this type of wire is really thin and it's not strong enough to poke through as far as not bending up the wire. So we got two left to do. I like to use clear because I don't want the wire, I don't want the band to show on the bracelet. Okay, our last one. All right, so now that we have all of our beads threaded, we'll just keep those over here. Let me make space. So I did like how the bracelet came out as far as having a black border, but uh, obviously you can change this up. I just tried to do colors opposite of what color the dice was inside. So. We're just going to start out and do a regular border going up both sides. And I apologize, I'm not trying to hurry the design or the tutorial, but I've been known to have ones that are like a bit long. <laughs> So I don't want to do that to you. Um, what I did do is on the third peg, I did go ahead and go over and then continued up both sides. And when you reach the third peg again, you're going to go ahead and put your band over and this obviously is what gives you the boxed boxed in space um, around your dice okay maybe I turn the loom so we can see so that's one, two, three. Now we go over, and over, and then we go up. And then we're going to See one, two, three. I'm getting band untwisted here. Go up or in, I'm sorry. Go in again. And to grab some more black pans. So we're going to go up, and we're on our third peg, so let's go ahead and take it in, and the last box. And we'll go ahead and close it up at the end. Okay, now we have our border. And as I said, this, um, with these bands going in the center, it's giving you all of your boxes. So one, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to have six boxes for your six dice charms. Okay, so it doesn't it doesn't matter on the color order. Um, on this one here, I probably started. Okay, we'll start with white. So because we're gonna start with the white die, um, I used the red 
fans. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and take this red out to the right, up, up. I'm going to come back down and I'm going to take this band of red to the left, whoops, and then take it up and take it up. Now, I am not going to put bands right here because I'm going to overlap the colors. So, because we did red on the inside and we discussed we're going to put a white dye in here, or you could use black. So, then this is how your dye gets incorporated or your dice get loomed. We just put that on the center peg. That's it. Pretty simple. So we're just going to do this all the way up the loom. So our next color, because we put white, let's do, let's see, in the bracelet I have red with a white border. So I'm going to grab my white bands and I'm going to do exactly as I did before. White out to the right, up, and up and come back down and we're going to go out to the left pushing them down up and then up and then we're going to get our red dye and just place it on the center pegs and you do have to stretch it so it's going to be a little bit that's okay. I always put mine inside the um, peg right there. So now we have both colors. Now our last color is black. So we're going to go ahead and let's see, I used red, white, red. I think I just used red, white, red, white in the middle. So we go over to the left or to the right. I'm sorry. Go up. Go over again, up, okay, let's grab our die, which is black, put that on our center pegs, okay, and then our next one will be red, we'll do red, or we could do white, let's see, in this bracelet, like I think I we can do white again so if we do white or I'm sorry we'll do red and then we can box it in with white and that way it'll mix up the colors so we just take our white bands and continue the same pattern this is a very 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 simple bracelet I would say beginner level bracelet um, with the exception of just adding the bead and the charm. Okay, do red. Okay, we've got two more left, so we're going to go ahead and let's do the white. Okay, let's stick our white dye and uh, something I forgot to mention, but uh, make sure that your dye is in the middle of your band. That way you'll have enough room on your band for both sides to put onto the picks. Okay, so we're going to do our last one and our last one is black with a white border. And so we usually stop right there, but we're going to go ahead and take it in. And last band is going to go into the center, just like that. Okay, now let's add our last die. 
there we go. So there it is. So we have each one. We have our die. It, it's in the center, but because that peg's in the way, it looks like it's um, up higher, but it's on both center pegs. So what we did was we put the border around, and then we took a contrast color to whatever color die is in the middle. So because we used a white die, we used a red border. We stopped, and we overlapped the next border. We used a red die, white, red border with a black, white border with the red, red border with the white, and white border with the black. So each one is just a contrasting color. You can make it uh, any color that you'd like. Just the color scheme that I uh, wanted to use. So I'm going, to, I'm going to go ahead and put a cat band here in the center. And you could also add, um, I would think possibly uh, two limbs might be too big of a bracelet if you want to do a wrap around, um, but today I'm just going to do an extension for you. So now we are ready to loom. So we're just going to loom it up the same way we kind of put it on. Go through your cap band, grab your top band, which is your um, color of your border around your die, and loom that over. I'm trying not to get my hand in the way. my cap band. Goodness. There we go. And we're going to go inside because our next one here is where our die is. We're going to go inside that uh, die band and grab that white one underneath it and bring that one up and over. And then we're going to go ahead and bring this border band in. And then over to the left, we're going to go back to the beginning. And loop that one over. So we're just basically just looping over. Don't forget to go inside that dice band. And I'm sorry, this one here, we're going to go ahead and take the middle one out to the left peg. So that way it's straight. We don't want to build them up in the middle here. Okay, so now you can pick either side. You can pick the left or the right to start on. It doesn't matter. But we're going to go inside that peg, grab the red band, pull that up. So you can see we're not looping, we're not uh, doing anything with the di dice band. We're just simply going to, oops, yes, this one goes next. We're just going to leave the, the dice band alone in the middle because everything else is going to be looped around it. So we'll be okay. It's going to stay in the place. Bring this one up. Go inside that dice die band the next one up go over to the right side or the opposite side pull this one up inside the die I'm going to go over to the center peg take it from the center over to the left peg and then let's just go up from here so very very basic stitching pattern just always got to make sure, most important, is to go inside of your band that has the die on it. Because if you do not go inside that, it's not going to hold together when it's time to take it off of your limb. Okay. Got... Over to the left, it just seems to be easier to do it like this, and then go in that order. Also a big thing is to make sure that you don't grab that black band on the bottom. Um, that is our finishing one, and we want to make sure that that one is completely loomed by itself. 
that way just in case there's any bands that are left um, but uh, they're all going to be closed up because we're pretty much doing two borders just a contrast black will give to it okay so we've got this last one here to do again going inside that die band and we're going to go ahead and take this one and close this one up here take that over to this peg there okay so we do have the whole design loomed already now we just need to go back and finish it up with the border very very simple bracelet follow your bands the same order that we placed them so all the bottom bands that's what we're pulling up and over if your black band is not on the bottom um, you need to make sure that it is so very important here is the way that we laid these bands is the way uh, kind of the uh, looming pattern is in order to make sure that this design stays together we need this all to stick or not stick but we need it to go into a smooth uh, looming process that way all of the bands are attached so come back down here grab that bottom band whoops it's very very late uh oh I lost it let me put this one in real quick This black one here needs to be on my bottom. I'm so sorry. I had a bit of a mix up there. Oops, let me turn this around. So if this ever happens to you, so you just want to put your hook in here, grab it just like you would like you're doing a wrapping all your bands, and then just stick it on the pig. Sorry about that. So let's loom it up. So we already took our our bands in the middle. We already took them over so we know we're okay to loom them up. Make sure you, again you still go inside of that uh, die band. So I'm just going to take that one to there and then I'm going to come back over to the bottom right and grab this side and loom this up because we need to grab these center bands and bring them over. This one is not the last band on there, it is the second to the last. Make sure you're grabbing the right band. Now we can take the last band and loom that forward. Take the next one inside of the die band and loom that one forward. Now let's come back down to the end, bring these bands up. One over to the middle, back to itself. This one over to the left, and we'll loom up this side. Okay, and we're going to stop there. We're going to come back down here, grab these bands. Over to the middle, to the left, up, come back down to the bottom right, pull this side up, and then our hands to the middle. 
Okay. Come back down to the bottom right. Inside the die band. Okay, these are this is our last stitch. So you have options here, okay? You can either take your band and go over like this and over like this, and then you can put two bands in here and put your C clip, and that way your bracelet is straight, okay? Or I'm just putting these back as if I never touched them. Bring them back down. Or you can take the sides, like a typical bracelet, and loom them to the center peg and have one C-clip. I guess it all depends on your preference today. I'm just going to do the one C-clip. So there you have it. So let's grab a black band or any band of your choosing. I'm going to do black because our whole border is black. I'm just going to stick my hook down inside. Bring this out. I'm going to bring that band up inside all of these bands. Make sure that it's on here good. Put it back on my hook. Push it up so it doesn't fall off. And now we're going to go ahead and pull it off. You don't have to worry about pulling it peg for peg because it's not a tightly woven bracelet. <laughs> I still kind of take my time because off the big complex bracelets I've had a couple of times where it's snapped off on me. So as you can see, it's a really simple design but it comes out really cool because it's die it's dice i mean who doesn't like game day dice there you go it's awesome it really is and the really cool thing about this bracelet is that the die uh it has enough room uh thickness in here that they don't stick all the way up like that they kind of sit down in and it's like half and half so it doesn't bother your wrist. It lays flat on your wrist. Uh, so there we go. We got our design. So if you want to add an X, then you can play with it. If you have some bands, you know, like that got stuck on the peg or whatever. So you have your cap band here and this band here. So let's go ahead. I'm going to take my black rubber bands and that's what I'm going to use as my extension. I'm just going to put that on my hook and slide it underneath the two existing tips of my bands. I'm going to take another band, slide it underneath. So basic stitch, basic hook stitch. And depending on your wrist size is going to be dependent on, oops, that's what happens when you're in a hurry. The bracelet is probably just the top side of your wrist so you might want to add about six or seven or even up to eight or ten bands let's see that's one two three four five six seven mm, I'm gonna just do eight I'm gonna grab so oops I forgot to grab a c-clip earlier grab a c-clip or an S clip or any clip of your choosing and we're going to stick that on the bands Oops. there we go I like to give everything a tug look at that that's awesome that is so cool it's like they're suspended okay sorry <laughs> and we're going to take our cat band going to stick our C-clip in there. There we go. Let's stick it on our wrist. Whoops. Uh-oh. 
What's this? This is a new design. This is my new design called the Petal Lace Bracelet. You get a sneak preview. So these are just uh, infinity rhinestone charms that I found, which this bracelet is awesome, It, but it, you can't really see the design. Now you can. But that is just a sneak peek. Tutorial's coming soon. Anyway, let's put this one on. Oh, there you have it. There is your dice bracelet. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope that you pass this on and let others know if they are interested that it really is an easy, simple design uh, that many are able to do. If I have inspired you or you do like this bracelet, please click the thumbs up button and be sure to post any type of comments below if there's anything that you would like for me to incorporate into any designs or any type of feedback on this bracelet. So this is still bling, even though it's not shiny and it's not my typical bling, it's my bling. So I gotta say, until next time, let's bling it.